<laughs> we'll be back to episode of Beer, Bacon, and Bros. As always, I'm Alex, got Adam, Chris, Key. Uh, we're going to start with a beer review. Make sure you uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and engaging with us. Those with no beer, let us know what beers you want to try. What you think of these beers if you had them? We got a lot of beers out there, so go look up. Um, what's that? What's our list now? Two two hundred and thirty six coming up right here. Two thirty six right here. And number two thirty six, it is Tiki Time. It's actually it's Tiki Time. It's a sour ale brewed with natural flavors. Five percent comes from Westbrook Brewing. Where's Westbrook? Charleston. Mount Pleasant. Maybe like place. some uh, Westbrook beers over here. Says, get your freaky tiki on with this tropical spice pineapple, passion fruit, and guava smoothie sour. It is time to tiki. It sounds really good. I'm, I'm looking. According I'm, to the Surgeon General, women should not go on the water. I'm looking. I'm looking. Before we kill you, better recycle. <laughs> Yeah, I'm what, I can't remember what beer it was, but it's like Puerto Rico, please recycle. <laughs> no, I don't think they put a please. Yeah, I think it says Puerto Rico recycle. recycle. <laughs> and it had an exclamation point. <laughs> oh man. They're like, yeah, we're looking at you fucking Puerto Rico. I don't know what's going on. You got, Puerto Puerto Rico. Rico. Yeah. You got too many cans on your beaches. I guess somebody that worked at that company went to Puerto Rico and they were like, y'all, our cans were all over that damn island. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta tell you all to step up their shit. So it's a smoothie sour. I wonder if it's gonna have the lactose in it that I am, I am always never a fan of. I get a good pineapple Ooh. smell. Mm -hmm. Pineapple. Maybe I got a guava. Guava. That's what I was thinking. It's guava. Yeah, that's kind of like that guava mango smell. Oh, I don't smell. I don't smell much of the uh, pineapple on the bottom of that. Yeah. Well, there is no mango in it. Yeah, you can see the pineapple float yeah. Pineapple guava? Pineapple passion fruit and guava. Yeah. That's why I smell it as the passion fruit. Uh, I like that. Big fan of that. Yeah. The smoothie is in there. Like, I feel like it's got that light coast kind of that creamy texture to it. Um, but it's not nearly as bad as the other one. It's like that light coast just does not feel right. It overpowers you. Yeah, it's a great sour, though. Big time. You definitely get the fruitiness of it. Like, the fruit definitely yeah. shines through. It is a citrus sour. This is the beach vibe kind of kind of beer. Like this is this is like a legit tropical beach vibe kind of beer. Well, it, 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 it pineapple, it, passion fruit, guava. No, this is the this is the you're sitting in a poolside cabana bar. Yeah. You know, in hell, Miami, Las Vegas, well, somewhere in well, Texas. Three hundred five, little South Beach going yeah. on over there. Down in uh, Cancun, Mexico. Like, uh, uh, or Alex, Adam, Alex, Alex, sorry, yeah, it's all going. Look at the difference in those colors. Just from top of the beer to bottom of the beer. Yeah, we gotta start burning the beers more often. Yeah. But this is really good. I I got nothing bad to say about this beer. I like I love the flavors. It's better than your uh than your watermelon sour. The watermelon sour, so yeah. So this is gonna be above a three three. <laughs> Guarantee mark it down and we'll be above. It. Fair enough. Well you definitely Man. get the sourness to this too. It definitely packs a, a sour punch. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go seven five. Um eight two. I really enjoy this. I would I would Yeah, I would get this again, without a doubt. Oh well, they didn't screw it up. We'll fix it. Eight two seven five. Um I'm gonna go eight one on mine. Your number slot is off. Nah, no, that's what's happening. I, I got it, I got it. Just give me a score. I'm gonna go 7-2. Seven 7-2? Two. Seven two? Yep. Okay. That's probably not bad for you as a sour, actually. No, because this one's a little more on the sour side than the, than the fruity sweet side. Okay. I'm a big fan of this. I like it, it's just there's nothing crazy about it that makes me like want to mm -hmm. hunt it down. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, but at the same time... So that's why it's not in my 8, you know? I would I would go out of my way to get this. Like, like, like if I saw this in the store, I'd be like, you know what? If I'm if I'm getting a six pack, like what we go with total wine, whatever, and I'm getting something, and this happens to catch my eye, I'll get it. I was like, yeah. I'll put yeah, this. I mean, it's it's a great beer. If I saw it, I would definitely drink like, it or think about getting it. But I'm I'm never gonna be it to the point where I'm like, I need a tiki time, you know? Yeah. Like when I'm trying to figure out which beer I'm gonna drink for the weekend or what, like. But like, if, yeah, it's just not that. But it, but but just for like this time of the year right now. Like if you it's get, a great beer. If you get me in November, you might not. I might not get yeah. it just because it doesn't quite fit the, 
the vibe and maybe I'm going for. But it still wouldn't wouldn't mind drinking it March through October. Yeah, I, I think I'm with Adam on that. I, I would probably even shorten my season, probably in May to August, maybe in September, because I feel like this has to be a hot weather beach vibe by the pool. Like that's the only place I'm going to drink. I am not going to drink this beer in the mountains in 35 degree weather. You know. But like, April, it's already still so like you're in the beach. Yeah. In April. I mean, I'm, I'm with you on this. I, 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 I'm already a guy that's going to go to Westbrook when I'm in Charleston. I don't know that this is the beer that's going to bring me to Westbrook, per se. Westbrook's got a lot of good stuff anyway. Though. They really do. They really do. So I, I think that this is something that, you know, I'd be excited about, but it's not something that, you know, blew my socks off either like Alex. I, I think it's a really good beer, but there is nothing about this that really I felt like just like really super stood out about. I think I think for me, if it had more pineapple versus passion fruit, I'd that score higher. Because the, the passion fruit is like a love it or hate it type of flavor. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it, it's definitely not one of those flavors that people like just enjoy to enjoy. I feel like if it had a little bit more pineapple flavor, I would score it higher. Especially when pineapple is your first fruit that you're that you're listening to. I don't know. I felt like that's what I felt like I smelt the most. I felt like that's what I tasted the most. I mean, so down, down here on this end, it was more passion fruit than anything. I at least, at least for what I, 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 I smell guava more than I smell anything. Like he and I, I was, I smelt it at the same time. It came to his mind before it came to mine, but it was guava that stood out for me. So, all right, back down the line, we got uh, seven two eight one seven five eight two on the Westbrook. It's tiki time uh, out of Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. That's who you.